Hey everybody, this is Peter, KJ5AJB, uh, here in uh, good old Mississippi. It's been a little bit since I posted anything, but uh, today we're going to talk about uh, getting your earbuds to link to your rig. And uh, I've got a little device that's going to help us with that, so we'll get into that in a few minutes here. So let's uh, get rolling. All right, just want to thank all the new subscribers we got here and just thank you for uh, watching. Uh, anybody new, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, I think I'm up to 150 subscribers now and uh, try and hit 200 in the next couple of months, hopefully, and we'll see how that goes. But anyways, uh, there's been a lot in the news there lately about ham radio operators helping with the... Uh, the uh, destruction on the southeast here with the storms and uh, there's some good stories coming out of that you can find a lot of them on youtube and uh if probably know some people that are helping with it but uh i've noticed a lot of folks have found the hurricane monitoring net on the on the uh, internet which is uh if nothing else good just to listen to and get an idea of what they're doing so anyways today we're going to Use a little Bluetooth transmitter receiver and uh, give you a little quick view of what that looks like. And uh, it's a R, what's called an RT3. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. I think it was. Uh, $36. Last time I looked, I think there was like a discount on it too, so um, I don't know how long that runs. Uh, this is the uh, instruction booklet for it, which, uh, of course, unless you've got really good eyes, that's really hard to read. So I've got a uh, web page up on my desktop here of, from Man Plus on the uh, layout of this thing. Um, and then I'll switch to a desktop view and we'll uh, see all the uh, other bits that come with it and uh, the bits you might need to, to do this with. Um, I've got my earbuds already connected to it, so I'll probably, uh, I've got a Bluetooth speaker over here. We'll, we'll hook up to it here after I uh, show you the uh, other bits from it. So uh, let's get on to that. All right, here's the manual for it. Let me scroll back up here so you can see the overall. Mayoi RT3 wireless audio receiver and transmitter. So scroll down here to the button layout again. So on the top, you see here, this is your power on button. And it's also a menu confirmation. It's also play and pause if you've got it hooked to your phone because you can uh, connect it to your phone so it plays music to uh, to your like car stereo or something like that and it's got volume up down previous song next song and your menu controls um, on the bottom here is your receive transmit mode uh, the way we're going to be using it today to connect to when I connect to my uh, earbuds here's uh, transmit and also to the speaker, it'll be in transmit mode because it'll be coming from the radio to the speaker itself. If you're going the other way, say like from your your uh, phone to something else, then it'd be in the receive mode. All right, and it's also got a USB-C port on the bottom of it. And uh, then down here, next screen, we got... Uh, the little LED indicator, uh, what mode it happens to be in. It's got a little volume screen there. Uh, audio encoding format. I think there's two different versions you can set it to, depending on what you need it for. The battery level, you charge it with a USB-C port, and you can pair two items to it. 
So, and then it's got a display down here of the different uh, little icons on the screen. You can, it comes with a little clip here I'll show you in a minute too. You can attach to it. So you can uh, hook it to your pocket or something like that. If you got it tethered to your phone or something. It's got a big long breakout here of everything. Uh, all the button pushing and stuff like that. So we'll move on to uh, the desktop view here now. You know, we got my speaker arm in the way. There we go. Phone key. Phone keeps trying to focus on it. So here's the device itself again. Uh, it comes with this little cord, 3.5 millimeter short cord. It comes with your little clip here too. You can attach it to your belt or something like that. Um, it comes with this attachment also, so your 3.5 can go into this. I know there's certain radios and stuff that uh, use the, the two-pin configuration. Um, but we're going to use it like this. And then I have my headphone jack on my uh, receiver is quarter inch, so put the 3.5 millimeter in there like so and then uh, let me see fire it up here get your little welcome screen and it comes up waiting to pair so let me grab this speaker here and we'll see if we can get this guy to hook up Bluetooth mode There we go. Yeah. That time it connected. All right. So we're on. Let me get some uh, sound up here on the radio for a sec. All right, there we go. Got something coming up already. So there you go. So there we go. Bluetooth connection to a speaker also. So I can put this pretty much anywhere on my desk now and listen to it. Um, I like using the earbuds because you can uh, freely walk around with them. I can either I can walk around in here in the man cave. I can actually get about twenty feet away into the uh, kitchen area itself, and uh, probably twenty twenty five feet somewhere in there. But uh, they seem to work pretty good for what I use them for. And uh, I can do other things while the morning net's going on or whatever. And uh, just listen in to what the other guys are talking about. And uh, so I hope this tip uh, is something you all can use. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, I'll uh, link the... Uh, unit the the link to purchase the uh, rt3 on uh, amazon there uh, i guess i can list the speaker on there too if you're interested in that but uh but thank you all again for watching uh hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you next time this is peter kj5 ajb signing off
that's pretty neat.